Hello everyone, on this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a bandwidth management in Microtik using PCQuery. But before that, let's create first a basic bandwidth management in Microtik. Let's log into our Microtik. I assume that you already know how to set up basic Microtik settings. If not, check the link below here. Now let's set up the basic bandwidth management. First, go to IP, firewall, then Mongol. Let's create a role here. I'll explain a little bit on this. Chain pre routing. This is for pre routing means upload and post routing means download. Source address is the address on our DHCP server, the network we have. That is also the IP address of our user, the client computer. And um, Action is mark packet. We mark that packet. We call it upload connection. Then click apply. I have already done similar setup on this on my first video. So check on the description link below with a detailed explanation how this works. So now let's continue. Click apply. Okay. Then add new role. Post routing. This is for download. Then we go here to the destination address. Action mark packet. This is for download. Click apply. Okay. So now we have marked our download and upload packets. This is not the actual bandwidth limit. This is this is just for marking the packets. But before that, let's check first my internet connection so we can determine how much bandwidth we need on this example. Let's go to speedtest.net. Here, based on the result, we have 50 plus Mbps for our download and upload. Then let's create a rule that our download is 10 Mbps and our upload is 15 Mbps. So let's start here. Let's go to queues here, then Q3. Let's create a rule here. Upload connection, this is the one that uh, we created earlier. Then max limit is 15 M megabits. Click apply. Okay. Then for our download, Ten megabits. So now we have created a role on our download and upload. So let's validate. Let's go back to our speed test.net and Here is the result of the speed test. Download is 9 plus, then upload is 13 plus. So this means that our role that we created is working. Now what is the problem with this kind of bandwidth limit? I'll explain it here on this diagram. 
here is our diagram based on this setup here if user 1 is using YouTube then he will consume all the bandwidth and if user 3 is streaming he will also probably uh, consume all the bandwidth so there is no actual limit for every user and every time a user will consume much bandwidth the other user will suffer so that's where we use this micro microtech physic view for bandwidth management let's check this microtech physic view how the how does it works Here are two examples how to use Microsoft PCQ. The first one has a maximum limit of 512K if this is byte in 4 megabits. The sample shows here that if you have two users, each one will only get 1 megabits. They will not consume all the bandwidth. If you have four users, then each user will have 1 megabits. So they will consume all the bandwidth. And if seven users, then it will be divided. This is the example one and the other example here same bandwidth 512k bytes then for one user he will consume all the bandwidth for two user the whole bandwidth will be divided they will get two megabits for each user then for seven user that bandwidth will be divided also so we will we will work these two scenarios here on our micro let's go back to our micro tech interface um, let's do first on first scenario but our download is 2 MB and our upload is 4 MB. Now to create the PCQ rule, go to Q types, then add new here. Name. This is for download in kind pcq so rate 1 2 m for download then destination address for download click apply okay then for upload Or M source address for upload. Click apply. Then go back to Q3. Download limits. Here the Q type we will choose the download PCQ limit this one the maximum limit this is the maximum overall bandwidth click apply ok and for upload you type upload click apply ok now let's go to speed test then validate this rule Now this works for one user. Let's validate first if we have two users in the network. I will remote another computer and do a speed test simultaneously and check if the role were, will work. Now I am remotely connected to a laptop. Let's check first 
to know that we are on the same network. So here we are on the same network. Then let us run simultaneously speed test and see if our role is working. Now let's run speed test. Okay, this means that the role we created is working. 2 Mbps download for its user, 4 Mbps upload for its user. Now let's do scenario 2, this one. Let's make our download to 5 Mbps, then upload to 6 Mbps. So the scenario here is for 2 user, the bandwidth will be divided. Let's go back to our Microtech interface. Now on the queue type, uh, for download, the rate here will be 0. 0 means the bandwidth will be divided. So, so that's how it works. Click apply. Okay. For upload, 0 also. Then back to our queue 3. For download here, this is 5. For upload, 6. Here, for 2 user, this bandwidth here will be divided based on the scenario. So let's validate by going back to our speed test. Here is the result of our speed test. The bandwidth was divided, so this means that our role is working. That's all for this tutorial. I hope you learned. Then subscribe to my channel. Thanks.